So I've got my fiber modem and router up in the top shelf of the cabinet there. And the power and Cat5 cables run in between this space, between the cabinet and the wall. Although these cords are up out of the way, what I'd really like to do is put a power outlet up inside the cabinet. I wanna have two receptacles in the cabinet there where that square is marked. Spoiler alert, this is what it'll look like. Inside a metal box that's mounted to the cabinet and then powered from below. So inside here is a three gang box. The stud is right here. And so I can run conduit into the wall and then into the side of this box here and power the outlets up in that cabinet. I put my camera inside the wall and took a picture of the side of that three gang box where the conduit will connect to one of those knockouts and I have some vent ducting on the right hand side to work around. All right, I'm told that this end of the connector just snaps in. So let's see, oh man, it snaps in. It's gonna take some effort. Okay, so actually I got it in all right. Um, I just had to like push in one side and then wedge it in rather than trying to push the whole thing in at once. I can go get this box mounted now, feed the cable in through the wall. They marked the outline of the box centered in the cabinet, drilled four holes in the corners, and then cut out the outline of the box using my oscillating multi-tool. So I know that I have a piece of vent ducting behind this wall, so I'm gonna use a rotary tool to cut out a hole for the conduit rather than a saw and rush flooding saw. I just don't wanna damage that vent ducting. All right, that hole should be plenty big enough for the conduit. Yeah, great. I used the box to mark the location for the mounting screws and then drilled pilot holes. So in order to remove this knockout from inside, I've screwed in this sheet metal screw partially way through the knockout. And I was reading online that if you give that a good jiggle, you should be able to get the knockout out. So that trick worked. I uh, actually had to use my pry bar and get in there in order to pop that out. So I don't own a fish tape. So instead I've got this spare copper ground wire that I've run all the way up through the new hole that I've drilled for the outlet, through the wall, and then out the Cat5 ethernet port. And then what I'll do here is fish a second wire over. And that way I'll have a solid fish from the power source, which will be this box, all the way up to where the new outlet will be. I tied the two ends together using electrical tape. I've got the conduit tied to one end of my copper wire fish tape. Now I'll fish the conduit through the wall and out the junction box. I don't mean junction box, I mean the three gang box where the power is gonna come from. <clears throat> you can see I had a lot more conduit than I ended up needing. So I made a mark where I wanted it to connect to the box. Cut the armor cable there, leaving some extra length for the wires. Connected them to my fish tape, fished everything into the box, and then connected the snap-in connector to the box. Then it was just a matter of stripping all of the wires, connecting them to the existing receptacle, and then screwing everything in for testing. Got the power back on. Everything here works, no faults, no grounds. So I can turn the power back off and finish wiring up that box. I then mounted the metal box to the cabinet using the pre-drilled pilot holes and then stripped the wires in preparation for mounting the two new receptacles. So to avoid having to do too much wiring up in that tight space of that cabinet, I essentially put together the two receptacles as one unit beforehand. I connected them together hot to hot, neutral to neutral, ground to ground, and then took the, the whole unit, the two receptacles, up into the cabinet and mounted them together as one unit. Tied the grounds with a wire nut and then connected the hot and neutral to the one receptacle that was closest to the conduit and then screwed everything in. Just made the installation go a lot easier. And there's the final product. I'm pretty happy with how that came out.